Hi and welcome to CFS Live Tutorials. This tutorial will explain the Fund Accounting sub-account feature. If you are not familiar with the Fund Accounting system, please watch the Fund Accounting video on the video demo page in CFS Live. Before we begin, I want to explain a little bit about the sub-account. The best way to do this is to give you an example. So let's say that all of the contributions collected, including the Sunday School offering, are deposited into the church's checking account. In addition, all of the payments made for the Sunday School Department are paid out of the same checking account. The problem is that I need a way to know how much of the money in the general checking account belongs to the Sunday School Department. The solution is having a sub-account for the Sunday School Department. In the Sunday School Department sub-account register, you will see a list of all the transactions made, including the available balance. It's critical to understand that the primary account is the physical bank account and that it must reconcile with your bank statement. The sub-account, or class as it is referred to in QuickBooks, is only a way to segregate the transactions related to it. The sub-account is only needed if you do not have a separate physical bank account for it. Once you are logged in and have selected the Fund Account tab, click the Add link above the Fund Account list of accounts. On the Manage Account window, click the sub-option, which enables the inputs needed to create a sub-account. Now select the primary account to add this sub-account to. Type in the sub-account name. Select the date for the opening balance of the sub-account. You can start at any time, but in this case, we will backdate it to July 1st of the current year. Enter the opening balance amount for the sub-account. Click OK and your new sub-account will be created and will appear under the primary account. If you backdated the sub-account, you will need to modify the fund entries in the primary account to be included in the sub-account. This is accomplished by selecting the fund entry and clicking Edit. Then clicking Edit on the category in the fund entry selecting the sub-account and clicking OK. You will note that the sub-account name now appears in the sub-account column. If you are done with this fund entry, click OK and you will see that the transaction is added to the sub-account register. Fund entries intended for the sub-account can be entered from the primary account or from the sub-account. That concludes our explanation of the fund account sub-account feature. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us via the tech support in CFS Live. Thank you and God bless.